and welcome to the Ox Venture. I am Corazon de Bayena, a human pirate swashbuckler rogue. And I'm Prudence, a tiefling warlock. Hey. And I'm Egbert, a dragonborn paladin. Oath of the Ancients, baby. And I'm Dob, a half orc bard. And I am Merylwen, a wood elf druid. Uh, greetings, I'm literally everyone else in the world. Um, and listen. Yeah. For as long as these characters have existed and for as long as the Ox Venture has been running, people have asked the question, who would win in a fight though? Uh, and as much as it pains me to say this, uh, this Ox Venture is just that. Oh, um, mm. You have uh, decided to pit yourselves against one another in, um, oh, let's face it, probably fatal combat, um, in a, a little competition uh, I like to call the Hungry Games, uh, <laughs> because the sole uh, survivor will win a lifetime of uh, uh, free food from Dunbridge Meats. Uh, hey. For example, you could good. you could get a tubular pig solid in a prison of wheat every day for the rest of your life if hey. you wanted to. Oh, no. but, uh, you all you, know that's been my dream forever. <laughs> you've got to be alive to eat Hands it. Off. So, um, you are basically, to, to set the scene, you are all of you um, in a big circle. You're all standing on a plinth right now. Uh, you're on a mountain top. <laughs> so, okay. like a big flat flat area, let's call it 120 foot across, is, your, is this big arena. And you are all of you in seating order. So Egbert next to Prudence, next to Corazon, next to Marilyn, next to Dob, who is next to Egbert again. You've got one person 30 foot to the left of you, one person 30 foot to the right of you. And basically, we're just going to have a big fight now and see who lives. So okay. we're going to be playing fast. We're going to be playing probably dirty, knowing you lot. Hmm. Um, don't like, basically, don't plan to go out too much. Don't even think about it that much. Let's just have a big old ruck. And then one of you will mourn the others mm -hmm. by eating a lot of uh, 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 pork, pork, pork pipes in a, in a, in a I want to win this prize less than this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, then you know what you need to do. Just waiting for the, the layer where this isn't canon. Right. It's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not <laughs> oh, by the end of this, all I the characters will be sent sure you then. to a trans-dimensional plane where yeah. death is not permanent. Taking control of the avatars, you realise <laughs> it. I genuinely did no. consider running a session within a session, so you were all in a tavern playing as your character Aww. started up. Ah, I like this. Nice. Mountain top. Hot dog kill. <laughs> you know, hot, hot dog, dog party. Kill hot dog death arena. Are um, we being watched by a crowd of Hungry Games fans? Uh, yes. Um, basically, there is an incredibly powerful wizard who has cast Clairvoyance, mm. uh, and another one who's cast Clairaudience. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, in scrying pools across the land of Geth, people are watching this and cheering on. Um, there, there will be no supply drops because that's lo logistics that I literally <laughs> haven't planned for. Roll for initiative, everyone! Yay! Yay! Oh my god, Here it's finally go. happening. This is an important one. Mm -mm. And I've not done that well. Eight for me. Oh. Twelve. Twelve. If it goes on the floor, you immediately die. Twenty-one. Twenty-one? Twenty-three. Mm. Oh, Whoa. well, well, well. Very spicy. Well, I've got a... 14. <laughs> 14, oh. all right. See, it's usually a good thing when you roll lower initiative because it gives you longer to think about yeah. stuff while someone else mm. takes the wheel. You've got to to think about it though, haven't you? Yeah. All right, well, then we begin with Corazon de Baena. Corazon. Mm. So I'm 30 feet from these two, mm -hmm. 60 feet from these two. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Geometry. So I can reach one of these two with my normal movement. Mm. Um, yeah, I jog up to Egbert's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm one of the ones 60 feet away. Oh, dang. So look out for a second. Oh, uh, one of you two. Oh, that's very diplomatic of you. jog up to... He's flipping a coin. Meryl win. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, and sneak attack. Meryl win. With my what are, you, what are you hiding behind? I'm not hiding behind anything. I'm a swashbuckler. Hiding behind, Swashbuckle. Swashbuckle. <laughs> hiding behind some pretty messed um, up mechanics. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like just looking at him going, okay. Uh, roll for it. What's your AC, Marilyn? Hiding behind a broken Oh, my AC uh, is uh, 15. All right. That's it's a sneak attack because you don't believe he would really do it. I'm like, come on. Do you have to so, Yeah, Dunbridge meets. Oh, that great. Turns out. Mm. Are they also the sponsors? It's like mm -hmm. in places. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've all got them on the kit. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want to die wearing a hot dog sponsor. Yeah. 22. Huh? 22 uh, is a hit. Roll your damage, please. Christ. 20. Okay. Cool. That's Damn. two thirds of my health. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I would like to use my bonus action to hide. Okay. Um, hide where? There. Behind your plinth. Uh, you need to make me a stealth check, please. That's a natural 20. 
Corazon disappears, having done two thirds of a marijuana step. And that's the last you see of me. You, you, um, you get out uh, a pallet and you paint yourself into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's incredible. Oh, right, man. Dob, you're next. That was impressive. Corazon, you want to form an alliance? He's hidden. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd cast his message, but that would count as an action, so I'm just going to shout it. Well, okay. Yeah, do it. Yeah, Alliance. Cool. I'm not giving away my position. But I'm still in character as an agent of chaos. So, Beryl, anyone in on this alliance? He just hit me for 20 health points. So the answer's no? How about we have an alliance? Oh, I've already made one, with Cor- made one with Corazon now. Do you want no to join that one? <sighs> no loyalty. <laughs> She's calling you disloyal. Hit it with Thunderwish. <laughs> All right, try to, okay. All right, fine. Uh, I cast uh, Crown of Madness on Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, the range on that? I guess we're next to each other, aren't we? Yeah. 120 feet. Who's uh, to say I'm not mad already? Yeah, a humanoid must succeed on <laughs> a wisdom madness. saving throw. <laughs> you see why I ch- chose Egbert, I'm sorry. Oh, or wisdom's... become charmed for the duration and then if it works, a twisted crown of jagged iron will appear on your head, Egbert, and uh-huh. you must use an action before moving on each turn to make a melee attack against a creature that I choose. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yes, that's that's I'll pretend. I'm <laughs> yeah. But you have to make a wisdom uh, saving throw. Right. What's, uh, what's well, your spell save DC, please, Dob? Fifteen. Well, that's an eight minus one. Okay. So seven. You are charmed for a orphan. minute now by Dob, <laughs> which could be the duration of this video. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. A twisted crown of jagged iron appears on your bonds, and yes, you must use your action before moving on each of your turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than uh, you. Of Dob's uh, And Dob will tell you. And then okay. on your subsequent turns... Um, and your, your default melee weapon is the mace, right? Oh. Yeah, I mean, yes, in theory, yeah. yeah. The Mace of Transfiguration. Mm. Um, you can make a you can make a Wisdom saving throw at the end of each of your turn, uh, each of your turns, Egbert, and on a success, you're free. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm reading this book for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, apparently, paladins have the aura of devotion. Which is a, he says. a class feature that says uh, that me and friendly creatures within ten feet of me can't be charmed while unconscious. I'm not trying to charm you. Isn't the point of the crown of madness that I'm charmed by Dot? It doesn't work. Dang! <laughs> I'm gonna call cool that though. <laughs> Yeah, can you yeah, keep, can they, but keep the yeah, hat? the crown shows up. Yeah, of course. I'm yeah. just like, but now it's the crown of radness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Crown very, radness. very good. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so I is now wearing the crown. When I start reading the book, yeah. I'm dangerous. I know. I know. <laughs> None of us could have predicted this. Well, <laughs> I played a lot of Baldur's Gate. Can I use my bonus action? Yeah, do a jump. jump. Do a big jump. <laughs> you do bonus action. <laughs> can I run up and shove Egbert off the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is no. He's a good long distance away from the edge of the mountain. So I can't push him yeah. off the side of the mountain. No. So I can push him over. Yeah, you can shove him over if you want. Make him athletics. I'll, t- I'll try. Check. Yeah. Um, oh no! Wait. Sorry. You're thirty. Oh. F- you're thir- sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god! You're thirty foot from the edge of the, the Retraction. mountain. Retraction. Sorry. I think it's a. I think it's for a different oath. Sorry. Crown of madness. Crown of madness. Crown of madness. Yeah. Yeah. None of that was meta gaming. That all happens in the game. Yeah. Egbert's like, Egbert's oh like, no, you don't. <laughs> and the crown falls away. And yeah. Egbert's like, no, wait. <laughs> no, I was like, if we just look at my holy book. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wrong oath. Damn it. The crown reassembles. <laughs> okay, right. The holy so, book is just like a sort of sports magazine <laughs> inside <laughs> the sort of covering of the holy book. Okay, so you've, you've <laughs> cast... Dragon pin up for <laughs> You've cast crown of madness. Um, yeah, okay. Don't forget you have to use your action each turn to maintain this spell. If you want to do something different, you've got to. Yeah, you got to stop. That's fine. Um, is there anything? So, do you want to do anything with a bonus action? Merylwen, was that a yes or no on the alliance? With me and Corazon. Hit Merylwen. <laughs> You're familiar with the premise of the Battle Royale. I just don't, don't see why I'm getting ganged up on. Sounds like a no. <laughs> I'm offering oh, you an alliance. Yeah. And you're. I'm offering Be you between an... Corazon and Dob. Yeah, that's that's a good choice. Um, look, I want to be neutral with you. You want to be neutral with me? Yeah. <laughs> in the Hunger Games. I'm, in this. I'm really trying to. You're I'm, not my enemy. I'm. Re- I'm giving you 15 seconds to wrap this up because each combat round is six seconds. I mean, I'm really trying to find a way where I don't push Meryl when over, but. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, sure. No, no, no. No, what? Fine. Fine. I don't like this to Merylwen. Okay. But Merylwen, this is now your go. I, <laughs> I turn my soft back to Merylwen. Yeah. Nothing soft about this back. It's all gnarly. <laughs> Calloused. 
Meryl, then what do? Sliding um, down things. Okay, what I would like to do um, <laughs> is... Corazon is hidden, so I just yes, like, don't know hidden. where he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could make a wisdom perception check, but it would be opposed against dex stealth. <sighs> if I was an animal, could I just sniff him out? No, on, mm-hmm. on a nat 20. You'd still have, you'd still have to make a wisdom perception check and you'd have to use that animal's perception. I would like to try and find Corazon. Okay, uh, wisdom perception please. Dex stealth uh, from you, Corazon. Okay, that is a 19. 22. <sighs> okay, I turn into a bear and I go after <laughs> Dov. <laughs> All right, fine, you turn into a bear. So your strength is plus four. Yes. Are you a brown bear? Uh, I would guess so, yes. Okay, then you get to make two attacks, one with your bite, bite one with your claws. Bite, one with my claws, yeah. Both are plus six here. to hit. Right. What's bite your AC, please, Dub? 14. 14, all right. Okay, that's a 16 plus six, 22. Hit. The claws, that's a nine plus six, which is 15. So it's 1d8 plus four for the bite. So that's seven plus four, that's 11. 11, and then 2d6 plus four for the claws. One. Plus five, six, plus four, ten. Okay, so that's 21 points of damage on Dob. Oh, Dob, right. you get mauled by uh, one of your closest companions, all in the name of uh, delicious pork products. Cool. That's fair. Okay, great. <laughs> um, Prudence, you're next. I blow a kiss to the clairvoyance globe. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Playing, playing to the ground, okay. <laughs> and then I hit Merylwen. <laughs> Okay. And Dob. Wow. With an Eldritch Blast oh. from either hand. Oh. Damn. Great. Okay. Uh, make those rolls. Uh, armor classes is 14, 14 for Dob and 11 for a brown bear. All Can right. you tell me what my hit points would be as a bear? Yes, 34. Okay. So All there's right. 34 hit points, and then you turn back into Meryl when mm-hmm. at the damage you had before. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 22. Yes, 20. Certainly yeah. one hit. That's yep. the one to hit Marowen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. About Johnny's going to choose. Oh. And that is a 12 on the other. Yes. Okay. Don't make me choose. <laughs> she did say an order when she. Oh, d- I did say an order. Did I say an order? I, I said, said Marowen. Marowen and Dob. Okay, so mm-hmm. you, you you hit Marowen and you missed Dob. Oh. Okay. Oof. So, um, damage, <laughs> damage, please. All right. Let's go. Make it spicy. It's bears on me, Prudence. <laughs> oh, that's that's why you messed up. <laughs> Being entirely engulfed by a bear. Yeah. <laughs> Subsumed with bear, uh-huh. but All not right. prone with bear. Mm-mm-mm. That is a 14. 14. Whoa. All right. So, Beryl, when you've got 20 hit points mm-hmm. remaining until you are thrust rudely back into the life of a wood elf. Mm-hmm. Dang. Egbert! It's time for you to make a melee attack against a target of Dobbs yeah, shooting. Right. Fine. Uh, well, I'm kind of thinking the most pressing thing is, Egbert, <laughs> come and hit this bear off me as hard as you can, please. Uh, how far is the bear from me? 30 foot. Because if you think Because if he's on top of Beryl when went to maul yeah, Dobbs okay, on his perch. Then I guess, so, I, can, I, guess yeah. I can go and do that. Okay. Uh, what sort of melee attack? Uh, oh, mace one, do you want? <laughs> a great dog. Okay. Uh, you get to choose, you know. <laughs> All right, um, I, your, I want your biggest pointiest one. I which... mean, that, that is my mace, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh God, don't turn me into something. <laughs> i got to roll a d6. So, uh, am well, I well let's see if you hit first. See if you hit okay, first. Yeah. So, uh, target is 11. 11. Come on, Egbert. Uh, Put good. some sauce on it. Oh, it's a three, plus four <laughs> is seven. Oh. Uh, you missed the the absolutely enormous bear. <laughs> Maybe a little part of me didn't want to hit the bear. Aww. But at least you've come Aww. over. So yeah. at least you're here now, right? Yeah. yeah. The bear okay. looks at Egbert, Merylwen's eyes. And now I'd like to attack Merylwen. <laughs> 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 All right, we're back round to the top of the order, actually. You could, you could shove Merylwen. No, oh, you got, could. I've oh, sorry, got, you've got, got a bonus turn as well. I just... No, your turn nah. is taken over yeah. by Dob. Wait, 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 wait. You, have, you can attack twice. Yes. Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, hit, again. Hit Merylwen again. AC 11. Is that really allowed? Yeah. <sighs> Your action is. Uh, I got 11. Uh, so you've hit, so roll a d6, please. Alright, here we go. It's a 6. Okay, alright. Prudence, please give me a number between 1 and 138. What? Yes. 42. 42. Yes. Okay. And this no. isn't a wild shape. Merylwen doesn't retain her consciousness. Now give me a number between <laughs> 1 and 10. No, I do uh, Because a seal gaiman is right. that. Otherwise, one, two, that's... Oh, yeah, no. Four, five, yeah, but six, seven. seal gaiman's like a weird husk of his former self. No, he's he isn't. Like sort of... He's perfectly happy. Oh, oh, he's he's we did a whole adventure. Time. 
Right. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Marowen is now a white dragon. Uh, <laughs> Marowen is now a Fathomer, which oh. is a, a medium humanoid, neutral evil, armor class ten, but hit points fifty two. So you've got a, a lot of damage soak now. Damn. Um, what it look like? Uh, it looks like a like a big blue kung fu dude. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh dang. Yeah. Right. Well, this is unexpected. I mean, in fairness, <laughs> Marowen, your strength is now plus two. Cool. Yeah, and your hit points have been topped up, presumably, because you've yeah, been transmogrified yeah. into a much healthier... Than ever. Um, this went great. And I have a bunch of cantrips. Yes, you do. <laughs> well, this took a turn. Mm-hmm. Um, roll damage for the mace. It also does damage. Uh, it's one damage, uh, plus five damage is six, plus two, seven. Uh, seven, okay. Six so. plus two. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, eight. It's eight. eight. <laughs> yes. I forgot about the one. Okay. Make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Here we go. Here we go. Remind yeah. minus that one. Wait. That is a, eight minus one is seven. You are still thoroughly crowned. Did I take damage then? Yes, eight. Okay. Eight. Cool. What do I have to beat to get 15. out of this? What's your spell save DC again, please, Dob? It was fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. So you next turn. <laughs> I, 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 might, I, might not, I might not continue it next turn. Yeah. You might be dead it. next turn. Well, let's see what Corazon does at the top of the second combat round. Uh, so is this Fathomer still attacking Dob? This Fathomer. This Fathomer. <laughs> well, I just see. I've just seen a Fathomer pop out. That <laughs> Fathomer presumably <laughs> killed Merylwyn. <laughs> Your good friend Merylwyn killed by Fathomer. Well, I don't. Okay. Yeah. So there was a bear. Yeah, mauling Dob, and then boom. And then Egbert ran over to hit the bear, and okay. the bear would boom, popped into a Fathomer. Uh, so yeah, I want to get this Fathomer off. All right. I'm gonna pop out, sneak attack it. Okay. See how that goes. Uh, make me uh, an attack roll then, please. Uh, armor class. You know what? You can turn into a Fathomer with mage armor. Thank uh, you. Which is 13 AC. On the other hand, I used my whole turn effectively to get someone turned into a funny animal. Okay. And then so, it turned into a super strong kung fu <laughs> dude. It's a cursed mace. What yeah. can I say? Yeah. Uh, it's 11. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, you miss. Yeah. All right. I would like to hide again. <laughs> okay. Make me a make me a stealth roll, please. 24. Okay. All right. You can pop back in. Um, right. Dob, are you going to maintain Crown of Madness? Because that will be your whole action. No. Can I keep the hat, though? It turns into a wet cardboard crown. It's the Crown of Sadness now. Uh, <laughs> Egbert and the Fathom are, are, like, upon me, right? Uh, yes. So, yeah, you've got directly on you, you've got at Merylwen, who is now a Fathomer. Yeah. And then behind... Standing behind Merylwen. Behind Fathomer Merylwen is... Is Egbert, who's like cool. checking out his awful new headgear. Uh, I'll cast Thunderwave. Yeah, fair enough. I don't, right. I don't often get to use this centered on me AOE thing. Yeah, oh, brilliant. brilliant. It definitely does a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wave of Thunderous Force, each creature in the cube makes a constitution saving throw. The save is 15. Okay. And the damage is 27. Well, I got a dirty 20 for my cons saving throw. Damn. So I got a 16. So you both pass? Yeah. Uh, half 27 is... Do you round up or down? Uh, round up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. We'll right. round up for the rest of this, just in case there are any more half measures. Uh, cool. 14 points of damage. No one's pushed backwards also, because you both succeeded. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. You stay by me. So <laughs> Stay grouped. Have some of this! <laughs> and you all just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meryl when? I'd like to cast Invisibility on myself. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you got that all right. Love it. Yeah. And for my bonus action, I would like to shove Dom. (laughs) Yeah, sure. (laughs) And then run away. Yeah. Um, With alliance. With with the person that just attacked me. Yes, which would have stopped them attacking you because then you're in the alliance. You know what? It's fine. Rejecting the alliance. (laughs) The kind of. (laughs) The hand of friendship. Uh, make me uh, an athletics check, please. 21 altogether. Okay. So uh, this is an opposed roll against either strength, athletics, or dex acrobatics. Please, Darb. Uh, well, I'll choose dex acrobatics, because that's plus 10. Uh, 19. <laughs> 19. That, that won't do it. You are shoved five yeah. foot back, so you are 25 foot away from the edge of a mountain. <laughs> and you are not thrown. <laughs> Prudence, yeah. you are up. I'm flexing for the clairvoyance orb. (laughs) (laughs) Yes! The Prudence merch sales are going nuts. Um, Corazon is hidden. Sure am. Merylwyn is invisible. Yeah. This guy's got a wet cardboard crown on, but is no longer under the 
No longer under the reins. He's, he's, he's his own dragonborn but again. Dob is on his back. Okay, cast Eldritch Blast again. <laughs> Eldritch Blast all day. Mm-hmm. All right. This time, I mean, it has to be it has to be Dob and Egbert. Great. Crossed arms this time. Wow. Okay. Trick well, shot. Like. So AC fourteen and uh, seventeen. Okay. Who are you attacking first? Uh, who do I say first? This one. No. So that is a twenty-five. That's a hit. Twenty-five. Yep. And a ten. Okay, so you missed up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like there are some people at home accusing you of like going soft on on Dob and like throwing your Eldritch Blast. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. So, conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah. Damage please, let's see how much of a, a Tonk Egbert is going to All be right. taking. I Tonk Egbert to the tune of <clears throat> eight. Uh, any bonus action stuff? Uh, with my bonus action, I would like to juggle a health potion for the clairvoyant <laughs> orb. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> health yeah. potion, you say? Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, we didn't discuss inventory before this happened. Mm. This, this I'm not going to use it, it's just for sure. Perfect. While this is cameras. happening, I, I look at all my health potions. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's actually part of the sponsorship of this that all of your health potions have been replaced with bottles of ketchup. Okay. Wow. So I juggle you, one of those. You all have Two three minutes. small bottles of ketchup. Health restoring ketchup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Egbert, it is your turn. Mm. You may act as you wish. For Am once. I near again? You are next to a prone Dob. Uh, hey, there is an, buddy. There's an invisible Meryl Wend somewhere in the vicinity. There's an invisible Corazon somewhere in the vicinity. Well, not visible Corazon, okay. to be precise. So, Egbert, that's the lay of the land. Uh, so, Dob is prone right in front of me, right? He is, yes. Egbert, um, buddy. Boobala. And the white knight. Aren't you still in control of him? No, oh, no, no. Oh, ended, okay, missed that. Otherwise I realised what I was doing was wrong. <laughs> 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 Just a little too late, unfortunately. Um, I like but to... you want to join the alliance with me? <laughs> Think about it. I would like to take one of my grenades. Yeah. I'm going to cast Divine Smite on it, and I'm going to pop it inside Dob's bag of holding. I'm just going to slip it in there. I'm try and blow up my bag. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'll use my bone ass action to dive out of the way. My bone ass action. <laughs> my bone ass action. <laughs> because no, Dob's just, ass is bone. Is, <laughs> is dive out the way. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah, jump is, right? Yeah, jump. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll, we'll jump, get you out the range of your... Yeah, you know, it doesn't yes, matter. Yes, because it's only five feet. So have oh, it popped right. into what is basically your pocket. Um, All right. Do you have a bag of holding? Well, you know. No. Right, okay. Pocket. Pocket. Yeah, fine. fine. <laughs> okay, great. Well, now um, hang on. What's the dimensions of Dob's pockets? Mm. We've never talked about it. I think they're pretty tiny. <laughs> <laughs> You can um, just play some skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you make me a a dex. <laughs> yeah, yeah dex, please. Too. All right, yeah. just here we go. Sprayed on every morning. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a seven. Um, I'm wriggling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you. Is that, am I at advantage because he's pro or anything crazy? Mm, like that? Yes. Go on. Like right, a toddler good. who doesn't want to go upstairs. To yes. <laughs> well, now that's an 11, so much Okay, uh, I'm going to say, you, basically, you're trying to force a grenade into Dob's pocket. Yep. Um, uh, the pockets are, like, really quite tight. Mm. Um, like, form-fitting, like, leather trousers kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, wow. And the fuse is, is burning down, so you're like, oh, and you, you get out of the way. Mm. But, Dob, I'm going to give you the opportunity to do a dexterity saving throw, and if this comes off, you will take half damage. Okay. For getting out of the way of a bomb. 23. Okay, so half damage. Okay. Roll the damage on the bomb, please. Including Divine Smite. Oh, yeah. It is meant to be with a melee attack. A melee attack. Is it? So when you gonna... cast Divine Smite on your bomb, shouldn't it have gone off in your hand? You know what? I hate to close down you doing anything even remotely paladin, but a, a, a grenade is or, or by definition been... not a melee. I have used it before, but it with ended a... extremely badly. So. For whom? Uh, for <laughs> the person we were supposed to be saving at our PAX East show. Oh yeah, that was very funny. Mm. Well, you know what, if, if, if there is canonical if precedent, precedent of me allowing Divine Smite on a grenade, then I'm going to have to allow Divine Smite on a grenade. I need grenade. all the help I can get. Past me has decreed it. Yeah. I'll just start yeah. thinking about some other useful precedents. <laughs> 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 I wait for night. <laughs> You're on us. I'm to come down. <laughs> uh, cool. Him. So half damage, right, on both those though. Uh, so yeah. Three d six. So that's one. But it's, uh, it's half damage Two. on the bomb. Yep. 
Uh, it wouldn't be on Divine Smite. It's three. Because that's Divine Smite damage. And um, four, so that's eight, so that'd be half to four damage. But then Divine Smite would be the D8. And that is four. Uh, and T6. So, so is that 10 damage? Ten damage. Total, total 10 damage, yeah. Okay, problem with Ow. like being the referee and trying to remind everyone of the dice is you do sound bloodthirsty. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. More. Um, More. You've used your, your bonus action to just like... Oh. Yeah, leap out of the way. This is probably the first time in a long time we've reached the third combat round, but it is <laughs> yeah. Corazon de Baena's go. Okay. Um, hey, Corazon! <laughs> <laughs> what? What is what is it of? I feel like I'm not holding up our end of the alliance particularly. <laughs> <laughs> Have no fear, alliance brother. I say um, I would like to like a, like whack a mole. I pop up out of a different hole, and uh, I would like to um, swashbuckle Egbert. That sounds doable. Egbert's AC is 17, I think. But with Corazon's various modifiers, I'm sure he'll have rolled 32. No, 13. You miss. Dang. Ha, ha, ha. You were playing with the the swashbuckling. Yeah. Are you unable to, to severely, apart from the bit where you've run <laughs> went through? Yeah. yeah. yeah Your no, conscience is so catching bad. up to you. Okay. All right. My conscience is yeah, you mess. at me. Glad, glad, you're doing, glad you're enjoying some character development. <laughs> <laughs> Huge uh, moment for uh, you. Anything for your bonus action? Yeah, I think I'm going to just retreat into my little network of hiding caves. And just, <laughs> I've got some stuff to think Maybe about. Maybe a deck stealth roll, please. Yeah. 16. Hmm. Wisdom perception check, please, Egbert. All right, <laughs> wisdom. Uh, Before you were rolling like ooh. 24, and I was like, eh, yeah, 17 so. minus one is 16. You are not hidden. Mm-mm. Egbert, Egbert spies ooh, you, ooh, ooh, ooh. like, <laughs> digging like a mole. <laughs> <laughs> if, what? We get, if we get the same. Yeah, meets it, beats it. I think we should just roll again. No, no, I like the way it went. <laughs> I heartily disagree. <laughs> All right, fine. Um, so, Corazon, yes, uh, uh, Egbert has spotted you. Um, you are mm-hmm. out in the open, basically. Egbert has spotted me. What about yes. the others? I mean, if you would like, uh, yep. Yeah, wisdom perception check, pl- <laughs> checks, yeah. please, from the rest of you. Oh, okay. Yep. Do them. <laughs> I got a seventeen. What's oh, 17? The what are we trying to be? Fathomer. Eighteen. <laughs> well, everyone saw Corazon. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like in my imagination, you pull out a spade, start going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I thought was a was a one of my hiding holes is just a little gopher hole. It's only if I forget if I jump into it <laughs> up to my shins, and I'm like, you terrify a family of gophers. Damn. Uh, Dob, it's your go. Um, okay, so I am just sort of sat on the floor, lightly exploded. <laughs> Egbert's nearby, mm-hmm. Corazon's nearby, mm-hmm. Prudence is still pretty far away, and the Fathomer has vanished. Yep. Fathomer? I, well, I, I can't. Sure. <laughs> I can um, barely see. Uh, uh, I'll cast Cure Wounds on myself. I've been hurt a lot. Yeah, that's fair. You've taken so, 31 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, roll me that. Roll me that anti-damage, please. Healing, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> anti-damage so sounds cooler. Yeah. yeah. 25. 25? Wow. Hail wow. and hearty. Dang, that's a heal. <sighs> nice. That and I'll use my bonus action to... Oh gosh, it's either try and like push Egbert over or thrash around wildly <laughs> to, <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, to try and like locate the Fathomer. I think if you're going to use your bonus action uh, to not thrash around wildly, it would be to get up. It's your prone. Oh yeah, of course. I use my bonus action <laughs> to stand up. I use my bonus action to stand up. Oh, yay! Do you want to move? You can still sort of do like um, half, half movement. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'll run further towards the center of the um, disc. Yep. Uh, right. Taking a route around Egbert like that to avoid, avoid an attack of opportunity. An attack of opportunity. Yeah. One video game has <laughs> taught all of you more about yeah. Dungeons and Dragons than I have managed to in <laughs> over half a decade. <laughs> Would it be all right if I used my movement speed with my arms out like this in the hope of increasing Fathomer detection? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot detect um, Meryl and the Fathomer without like magic or another, uh, another set. Oh, yeah. Fine. Well, you know what? I probably don't even want to run past the Fathomer anyway. You are now slap bang in the middle of the circle. Great. Okay. Everyone attack me at once. <laughs> <laughs> He's right Meryl where we wise. want him. 
Where have you scuttled off to and what are you doing? <laughs> well, I spotted Corazon and I would like to sneak up to Corazon and cast Vampiric Touch. Whoa! Mm. Dang. Fair. So it's a third level spell. Yeah, melee spell attack against a creature within my reach. Yep. Go for it. What's your um, AC? 15. 15. That's a 15. Okay, yeah, meets it, beats it. So that's 3d6 necrotic damage, please. Okay, that's a one. That's a four. And a four, so that's nine. Nine, which means you regain five hit points. Yeah. So nine points of damage to you, Corazon. Ow, I say. Cool, yeah, fair. The necrosis. <laughs> I'm not Again. supposed to get anything necrosed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okie dokie. Uh, any bonus action stuff, Marilyn? I, yeah, I'll stay where I am, I think. Okay, cool. It's a concentration spell, so I can just like latch on like a little leech. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, 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 you can. Is have. it? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Well, it's, oh, it's it, creepy. It, yeah. I, I oh, mean, yeah. I'm literally learning this character as yeah. I go. <laughs> no, no, it, it, so, no, it, it, it is con- It isn't concentration. Oh. I'm looking at it on D&D Beyond right now. Vampiric Touch. Duration, one minute. So you've cast it, so it's in effect for a minute. Uh, Prudence. All right. I do a Katniss Everdeen style salute to the clairvoyance. (laughs) 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 Fan favorite. They're going to be gutted if you don't win this. Mm. And then I cast a 20 foot tear in the fabric of space. It centered on Corazon. (laughs) Oh no. (laughs) So anyone within 10 foot of Corazon is also Ensnared in the hunger of Hadar <gasps> Vortex. Hungry, hungry Hadar. Please oh get wrecked to the tune of 2d6 cold damage if you start your turn in that space. What's the right? 20 foot radius sphere centered on Corazon. Centered on Corazon. It's a sphere. Any what? creature that. You're all right. Hey! Uh, okay. Am I all right? Yeah. Where am I? You where, dive where out the it? way. I dive out the way of Dob, yeah. In what direction were you imagining? Yeah. See, this is why we should be using minis. <laughs> <laughs> Say the forbidden word. Um, which way? To, uh, in your heart of hearts, as you dive in towards the middle of the circle or outwards, you've got three thec- seconds to think about it. Three, um, two. Well, I'm not going to dive towards the edge of a mountain, probably. So, okay, so you're going further in towards the middle. Welcome to the hunger of Hader. No. Yeah. Sorry. Would anyone like to hear some more about it so they no. can figure out how they will? Is it unpleasant? Avoid yeah. it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I like it in here. <laughs> you all know it's a 20 foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold uh-huh. Uh-huh. from the dark between the stars, yep. slurping tentacles Milky and cold. Acid. Yep. The yeah. numbers though. Um, any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a deck saving throw or take 2d6 acid damage as otherworldly m- milky tentacles rub mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. It's the milky guy, right? Yeah, it's on it. I just oh, imagine these big udon noodle types of things. Oh. Oh. Jane, this is actually amazing because everyone who's like being Hunger of Haydard is going to obviously want to leave the area so they don't take the damage at the end of Correct. the thing as well. But because they're all clustered together, they're all going to be opportunity at attacking each other. You can just leave, but it's difficult terrain, so it's double the movement cost. Okay. You could ask someone whose turn it is to move you out of the area. <laughs> Carry me, please. Prince, if that's everything, we're on to Egbert's guy. Yeah, I, don't, I don't need bonus actions. All right. <laughs> Your bonus action was the Cat 17 yeah. star. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Can you please roll 2d6 cold damage, which is what Egbert will be taking. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting his go in, in the right. of Hader. That's a six. Uh, so six points of cold damage for you, right. but it's fine. Uh, it is now your turn. Um, okay. You are. It's not centered on me. No. So you're about. F- you're only five foot from the edge of this thing. Okay. You've got uh, which would take you further in towards the middle, which would take you closer to Dob. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I feel like it would be prudent uh-huh. um, to uh, uh-huh. to cure some wounds right now. Okay. Great. And I think I'll do that from a second level spell slot because, goddamn. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll have one of those. Okay. Fantastic. So uh, that's four plus four eight. is eight, and then another d8. That's one nine. nine okay. Points All right. Not Dom terrible. Got like a billion points. Fourth level spell slot. Ooh, <laughs> spent big. And can I use a bonus action? Yes, absolutely. What do you want to do? I don't know. Something interesting. What, Shove what, dob. All my options. 
Just push Dob over again. Good shot, Dob. It's all a bit playground scuffle, isn't it? But yeah, okay. this whole thing is. In fairness, yeah. you're fighting over hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they said hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what a cruel thing I've done. Hey. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so what? What do I do to push him over? Do I throw? Do a strength? It's a thing? strength athletics attack versus either strength athletics or dex. Well, acrobatics. I got six. So with well, my strength, I got twenty. <laughs> okay. You sort so of, I fall over. No, you sort of like double high five Dob's chest. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Hickford. Yeah, bro. <laughs> We're at the top of a new combat round. Corazon, the highly visible. You are in a gopher hole. The gophers are terrified. I'm in a hunger of Hadar. I'm being vampirically touched. Oh, yes, of course you are. <laughs> so, how could I forget? So, 2d6 cold damage, please. Corazon, get iced. That's a seven. It's minus 273 degrees, Jeez. the absolute zero of space. <laughs> okay, I want out of this circle, but I also want off of this vampire. So I'm going to attack um, the, what are you, a Fathomer? Fathomer. Fathomer. Yeah. I want to attack Meryl when the Fathomer. Mm -hmm. AC 13. Uh, okay. You getting sneak attack damage off this? Yeah. Because of swashbuckling. swashbuckling. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Busted class. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, 16. 16, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, then I would like to move out of the Hunger of Hadar, which is, if I'm in the middle of it, how many, can I do that? It's Ooh. 20, 20 feet. feet, isn't it? 20 foot it's radius. 20 I can foot. move, you I can, can only move, move 20. It's it's on course, but you're in the center of it, so it's only 10 yeah. foot to 10 the foot to perimeter. The no, because well, no, the radius is half the, radius the diameter. Half the diameter. So it's 20 foot, which is 40 foot. Oh, of, what? Of it's a 40 foot sphere. Movement. You're right. It's a 20 foot radius. So you can get five foot There's from so the exit, <laughs> I think, probably. Uh, I can use is bonus action to, to dash, yeah. which increases my movement distance. Okay. It yeah. is difficult terrain. It would terrain. difficult terrain, also. right? Yes. Okay. Well, no, it would just give, it would give the extra, extra movement distance required to make it the extra five brackets, 10 foot. So I will dash out of the radius. Very good. Oh. All right. You know what? You were in a tight spot at the top of that. That's. That's gone well for you, I have to say. Um, Dob. Okay. You're, uh, you're slap bang in the middle of the circle. Yeah, so I see Corazon emerge from the milky sphere of icy agony. <laughs> Give him a teamly salute. Give a little thumbs up. All looking good. Um, so what is the fathom wearing? Uh, Mage armor. <laughs> what are you wearing? Because after this, I'm up for whatever. Uh, <laughs> like so, slash like pi basically pirate boots, and then grey and dark purple slash trousers. Um, slash A sort of a big uh, sleeveless waistcoat with like brass studs, um, big leather sort of like um, armbands, and like a, a a nice rich sort of bronze fabric uh, sort of cummerbund type sash All right. thing. Sounds yeah. Good. Uh, in that case, I'll cast heat metal on Egbert. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wanted to know my options. Yeah, sure. Heat metals, an attack that I have. Yeah. So, yeah. No, hundred percent. And also, so metal. Oh, but then, oh, but Egbert's so so fire resistant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got ten seconds to think about it. I cast uh, shatter instead on Egbert. Great. Okay. Uh, cast away. I'm about to be cast away off this mountain. Oh. Look, Egbert dead in the eyes. And um, place, my, <laughs> place my hand tenderly over his heart and then cast Shatter on him. Good lord! <laughs> wow. oh, so that's a constitution saving throw from you, Egbert, please. All right, fine. That is a 14. Uh, against it's 15. 15. So uh, you're going to take 3d8 thunder damage. 3d8? <sighs> yeah. Uh, that's assuming it's coming I'm, out of. The... I'm sending this third level. Oh, God. Oh. So that's 4d8 thunder Oh. Damage. What? Okay, fine. <laughs> 17. Okay, 17, uh, 17 points of damage. Thunder yeah. damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think probably, having just done that to Egbert, it would be smart to try and push Egbert over <laughs> <laughs> and run away. Yeah. Um, strength athletics check, please, from you, Dob. Cool. Uh, and then Egbert, it's either strength athletics or dex acrobatics, whichever you prefer. Strength. Uh, yeah, I haven't imagined that, imagined that might be That's it. That's 12. 14, 15, 16, 17. Bloody hell. Okay. So this, this a shatter goes off and your vision kind of like swims mm -hmm. and your ears like and then through the kind of blur as, as the world sort of starts to um to sort of reconfigure itself, you just see this big green menace come <laughs> shoving <laughs> away. <laughs> which, so which way are you going in this circle? So in, in my head, we've got the circle here, we've got kind of like clumpo people. 
Um, and then you and Egbert were basically in the middle. Um, Corazon's sort of over here. Are you going? Are you going further over? Or are you going more towards? I feel like I should either run towards Corazon or towards Prudence. I'm going to say towards Prudence because I feel like that's the most empty part of the mountain top generally. Yes. Yeah, Pr- Prudence hasn't really moved. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Prudence all. hasn't moved, and we've all sort of like moved away from Prudence, and now yeah, I sort of want to yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, but possibly foolishly, but in terms of all of, I think I, I'd rather be out of melee range of everything that isn't Prudence. Yeah, so I'll run. Yeah, I'll move towards Prudence. Great. Okay. Cool. Um, Meryl, when it's your go. Uh, I want to get out of this circle. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Oh, I need to take the two d six. You do. Don't thank I you. Yeah, Jane, if you can roll two d six. Well, remember. Thank you. That is a nine of cold damage. Okay, cool. So presumably Meryl went at the same point I was because she was touching me. Yeah, I was yeah. basically like next to you. Okay, so Fathom has got 30 foot, so you, you could basically like Corazon use a bonus action to dash and just get out of the circle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, obviously you do have an action as well. Oh, cool. Uh, then I would like to cast Eldritch Blast on Corazon. <laughs> yep. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Dang. Is it a cantrip for you as well? Can you yeah. just be Eldritch blasting everyone yeah. as well? And it's also, uh, it's two beams because you're a fifth level spellcaster. <laughs> Sweetie B. What? That's a natural 20. Okay. Oh, oh. Yes. And that's an 11. Okay, so one hits and you are going to double the dice damage on this. That's a 10. And a 5. Okay, so 15 to you, Corazon. I think you mean... Eight points of damage. That's well, for you to say, not me. I uncanny dodge out of the way. What does it look like when you uncannily dodge something? Uh, it's like <laughs> the dodge, but talking? weird. <laughs> it's like I skip a few settling. frames of animation, oh. like, like Sadako crawling oh, out of a like, television. Yeah. 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 A glitch. Glitch. <laughs> That's, that is uncanny. Singed and partially, partially blasted, we'll call that, mm-hmm. um, through no fault of your own. Prudence, what is, it? what is the audience at I home d- I look down the lens of the clairvoyance orb and say I couldn't do any of it without the help of our sponsors, <laughs> whoever they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the spot, whoever they are. <laughs> and then I... You slowly wink and Dunbridge meets is written in the <laughs> <laughs> Call that an Eldritch Blast. This is an Eldritch Blast, I say, and I blast El- a Meryl in the Fathomer. <laughs> With both barrels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AC 13, make those spell casting rolls. Okay. 21 and 27. Okay, both hit. Uh, so roll me damage, please. And 10, do you? There we go. One is uh, nine and one is, oh, nine again. 18. 18. I'm out of hit points. <laughs> but now you're Merylwyn again, right? No, because no. I got cursed. <laughs> Mel is dead. <gasps> you killed you Mel. You killed <laughs> Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to anyone at home who wanted to see a wood elf druid actually fight. Yeah, I'm like, really sorry. You got you you got the. I, the, I like Fathom as really that vampire stuff is sick. You got, I, I got the blunt. You, you got the blunt end of the mace, oh. and I'm very sorry. I don't know if the camera is getting quite how organised yeah, all these druid spell spells are. Yeah. I'm really can, like, can I use my bonus? No, that's not a bonus action. To use a scroll of resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I genuinely thought we were going to get Merylwen back. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Given you would get you both bear barrels. back, and then when we kill the bear, then you get Merylwen back. <laughs> yeah. It's right. a nest, nested inception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We would have been here all day. Been the most cursed Matryoshka is. No, I can Merylwen only use one shit twice. Okay. Okay. Well, um, as, I, as we did in the last. One I am. Session. Yeah, I am uh, profoundly sorry uh, that, but as Seal Gaiman shows, the curse is permanent. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's it's a case of yeah, Oxfordshire law coming back to bite. Well, you all more than really. me specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really, really sorry about that, but uh, the crowd at home... Raw uh, for blood. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. I was going to say are confused but saddened, but um, yeah. Marilyn, unfortunately, uh, you have uh, been eliminated. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so Egbert, it's your go now. Uh, I really need to kill my wounds again. I'm, I'm feeling pretty peaky. I'm okay. down to... How's sub, Egbert, sub 30. How's Egbert looking? Can we get like a visual read on Egbert's whole deal? Well, let's see. What have you been through? You, uh, I've been, I've been frozen. Yeah. Yep. I've been heat metalled. Mm-hmm. Well, you've been shattered. Shattered. Been sorry. Yeah. yeah. I've my, I have my heart shattered. I've yeah. had, and my heart has been shattered by all of this fighting. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. As a paladin, very disappointed in everyone. Um, and 
And yeah, I've been Crown of Madness as well. Yeah, so you're and I'm now cup, on the floor because I was shoved over. Okay. Right um, Which in a way was the worst. Oh. In a word, it would be sort of like hangdog. I wouldn't say pathetic, but okay. you're probably thinking it. <laughs> Sometimes you wonder if it's worth all that free meat. Especially for Dob as a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there so that's, the scene, again. that's the scene set for, uh, for your anyway. turn. Did I, I say my hand on his liver? No, no, it's not my turn. Sorry, I just asked for a read on. Cool. No, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, Egbert, this is how that's how you're looking. Oh, it's, of course, you're going to. I've got to cure wounds. Pick yourself again. up again. Yeah, sorry. yeah. I've got. Um, I'm going to cast it again from a level two spell slot. Mm-hmm. Must have a level. Um, <laughs> So, so that's 2d8 plus 2d8 plus my charisma four. modifier, which is four. Okay, so that's one d8, which is two, eight plus four is twelve. Oh, righty. And then I'd like to use my dents in the armor just bonus action to just I don't know. Stand well, up. I've got movement, haven't I? I'd like to yeah. get out. I'd like to get out of get up. Mm-hmm. That's my bonus action. Yep. And then do I still have movement as well as that? Yeah. 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 I'd nice, like to just but... move. 30 feet away from Dob. You can go 20 feet. <laughs> 20 feet away from Dob. Is it the smell? <laughs> <laughs> it's the shatter. Actually, yeah, no, it's it was the bit where you came up and shattered my Yeah, heart. you sort of. Aww. I kind of just imagine you sort of get up and just sort of yeah. limp away, and as you're Aww. limping, you start to stand up a bit straight yeah. because you've just cured some of your own wounds. Um, all right, then. Uh, Corazon, top of a new round. Okay. All right. So let's just get the layout here. Mm-hmm. Um, where is it, Ron? Um, so, uh, hmm. Prudence still on the starting plinth. Yeah. <laughs> Vamp. I haven't stood up. Now I have stood up. I've just stood spraying stood up. Eldritch Blast <laughs> from a seated position. <laughs> yeah, like a turret. <laughs> <laughs> Dub very m- You're still like. He's still slap bang in the middle. Uh, I'm not slap bang in the middle. I'm more to. I'm like halfway between the middle and Prudence. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, no, so Prudence there. Um, Dob. Let's call it about like 15 foot away from Prudence, um, who is in the middle. Egbert has just cheesed it away a bit. So you've got kind of like a triangle going on. You've got Prudence okay. here, you've mm-hmm. got Dob here, mm-hmm. you've got Egbert here, mm-hmm. and Marilyn is in a better place now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I mean, like, looking at my targets of opportunity, I feel like um, Egbert is currently the softer target, so I'm going to tr- go and attack Egbert. <laughs> sure. Um, AC 17. Oh, God, that is right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You all wanted Battle Royale. Yeah. Look viewers. what you've done, viewers. Warts and all. I think. Cursed I maces. Pro- probably someone commented it, saying it was <laughs> bottles of ketchup. That was me, actually. I mean, I <laughs> oh, we fell victim <laughs> to Mike's suck puppet account again. <laughs> damage, please. 20. 20 points of damage. Holy. Come on. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to use my bonus action to hide properly this time, dice. Broken glass. <laughs> Do you hide? 14. Wisdom perception checks, please, from the rest of you. Uh, 12 minus 1 is 11. Okay. 14. Did anyone get the number of that truck? Meets it, I beats say. it. 14. Okay, so the two of the two of you are not fooled okay, by Corazon goes. throwing a blanket up and running. Completely bamboozled. Egbert doesn't have object permanence, so... Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that blanket's in the way, I can't see him. <laughs> okay, Dob. Okay. You're up. All right. Now look. Look. Now look. We all know that... Look, let's be real for a second. <laughs> let's be real. We all know that the only sensible thing to do here is to wail on Egbert some more. <laughs> We have to be real about this. <laughs> I'm scrolling up and down my like character sheets, trying to find something cute to do. <laughs> There's nothing cute about, about this day. It's not an awful lot of whimsy. <laughs> uh, oh, wouldn't it be fun if I cast? Wouldn't it be nice to How many spells have you got? You must be running out, surely. Yeah. Why didn't you use someone something else? Uh, I got him out the wazoo, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. Um, <laughs> Hmm, okay, okay, okay. okay. That's where they usually come out. <laughs> <laughs> the forbidden spell slot. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Egbert's looking a little worse for wear. Mm-hmm. I'd like to cast sleep on Egbert. Mm. How many hit points do you have left, Egbert? 19. I was thinking I'd put him to sleep and then just lift him up and tip just him off the edge. <laughs> 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 
don't think Egbert can do any healing or anything. It wasn't like a mercy. I was just thinking like that there's no chance for Egbert to take another turn. Yeah, just he roll wouldn't him wake off up. Yet. He would right. technically die in his sleep. Let's see. Yeah. A very peaceful way to go in grand old age. Of like... He goes to sleep when he impacts it on the ground. Okay. Thunders of people. Like... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, oh my god. Um, okay. All right. Well, I don't. Roll. Uh, That's not a bonus action, though, is it? Pick someone up and tip them off a mountain. No, there's a ways no, to go. You You're know like... what? You know what? I'm overthinking it. I'm trying to make it cute. That's stupid. I cast shatter on Egbert. <laughs> what? You... The, the thing is, I would do it, except. Don't tell me about you, what you would do. Tell me about what you're doing. Shatter. All right. Although. It's another no, there's a chance constitution for... saving throw. You've got five no. seconds to choose. Sleep. 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 Yeah. All right. Five D8. Yeah. Cool. How many points left again? 19. 19. 32. <laughs> I guess I'm asleep. There's a sweepy dragon. Is, are you more of like a, a honk shoe, honk shoe, or like a <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> I think you're more of a honk shoe. Yeah. Rest yeah. now, Egbert. <laughs> when yeah. next you wake, you'll be exploding <laughs> several miles below us. Egbert, you're asleep. Okay. Prudence. Okay. It's your go. Oh, it's my go, right. Don't hit Egbert. <laughs> you, want in, you want in on this Egbert off the edge, man? <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> I go and kneel next to Merowyn's unconscious form, and I gaze at the clairvoyance orb, indicting the audience on the hideousness that they call entertainment. Cool. You, you've done this, I think. Okay, seem but to that's say. your action. That was your action. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, that's just saying, no, that could be your movement. You know, oh, okay, yeah, that's my action. movement. And uh, yeah, I'm just like holding Merowyn. Look what you've done. Um, I think they would say to that, you did it with your agonizing blast. <laughs> yeah. Are you not entertained, I say, holding my own. <laughs> We're very entertained, thank you. Oh, that, was, <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> that didn't happen in Gladiator, did it? They weren't like, yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh, we love gladiating. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we came. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, uh, I can see Corazon. Yes. Who is hiding, yes. but not from me. So you, you're doing your like hiding pose. I'm under a blanket. Yes. Uh, okay, I, uh, I go and I'm not that close to him. Am I? We're all sort of almost at like sort yeah. of. I imagine at like six fair. o'clock and. Yeah. Oh, you've done minis. I, I mean, <laughs> not really, <laughs> not to any great cross. accuracy. Does this make us nerds? Does this, Does this make us nerds? <laughs> Dressed as a half orc, playing Dungeons and Dragons. I go and uh, stab the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Go stab the blanket. Yeah. Go stab a blanket. I'm gonna go stab it right in the blanket. There you got. Not. You got the movement to make it up there. Okay. All right. I walk over to Corazon, who is hiding under a blanket and thinks I can't see him, but I can see him, mm -hmm. and I stab him um, <laughs> through. The blanket. Through the blanket. Through the blanket. Oh, right, in the blanket. right in the blanket. <laughs> right in the blanket. Uh, with my uh, dagger, which is a finesse weapon. Mm -hmm. And we'll also collect some of his blood. Yes, it will. <laughs> Need that. <laughs> yeah, well. it. Not for much longer, apparently. If it hits, that is. And that is a seven. Seven? That's that right. But then roll a d20 for the number of pints of blood that come out. <laughs> Armor class 15. Yeah, I'm afraid you... Um... This is why I should never do anything but Eldritch Blast. Mm, yeah. yeah. It's a very high quality blanket. Oh, okay. Mm. I poke the blanket with my unsharpened yep. dagger who's, that's been poorly maintained. With this butter knife I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. Um, well, that was what do the crowd do? Oh. Well, I go wild. <laughs> they, I think they see this as a mercy. You were just like, look what you've done. There's another way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Egbert, you, Egbert's asleep. Corazon, it's your. Do I get to do a, like a saving throw to wake up or anything? No, I guess you not. are asleep for a minute. Okay, I would like to use. So that's um, only nine more combat rounds. Only nine. Great. Wait, six seconds of. <laughs> six oh, seconds. Yeah. I would like to use my movement and additionally cast Mage Hand for a third hand and try and push Egbert off the edge of the platform. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> As a mercy, <laughs> <laughs> it would be a mercy to roll this sleeping dragon. <laughs> Is it how he wanted to go? He often said it. <laughs> I hope I die in my sleep. He said, <laughs> peacefully in my sleep. Not yeah, not 
Okay, the, okay the, the hand can't carry more than ten pounds. Okay, but it so can, it's not carrying it; it's pushing it. <laughs> so. Even with my hand, I think you're five foot from the edge. I can't, in good consciousness, have you. Okay, mm. fine. Go um, all less like than to, five foot in one guy. I would like to hide it again. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, now we're talking natural 20. Wisdom mm. perception checks, please, from all of you. Doesn't mean natural 20, what? does it? I don't know. 16. Where's Corazon gone? Hey! Where's Corazon? You sort of like stab the blanket and then it. <laughs> <gasps> Ta da! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ta da! Duh. Egbert's now 30 foot away from you and okay. five foot away from the edge of the, <laughs> edge of the Maybe I'll get caught on something on the way down. Yeah, maybe we'll get re-bounced re- back <laughs> yeah, up. Like a tree or something, a rising hot air pollution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how far is Egbert from me? I think you're probably about 20 foot away. Okay, so, I mean, what I could do is just go up to the edge and just scoop all Egbert off the edge there. Um, but I guess that would leave me quite close to the edge. So I think what I'd like to do is travel the minimum distance required to do a thunder wave that I don't think Egbert can resist. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, like it's a proper send off, isn't it? Yeah. Although we'll wake Egbert up. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's definitely a send off of a kind. The good news for you is that, that no Egbert cannot resist this. The bad news is that he will be conscious the entire way down. Unless the thunder wave kills him Outright. When's my when's my combat turn? You how tall sleep. is this mountain? <laughs> oh, will you be falling for a full minute? Well, will I be falling for more than six seconds? It takes but, to get yeah. round to my turn again. Oh, I see. Oh, I you're saying like you're saying could we all kill each other and die before you hit the ground? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you oh, oh my god! Do, no, you, yeah, do you know. what you must. Yeah, you. Yeah, do what you must. Do do what you will. How are you sending him? Um, <laughs> gently into this good night. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send Egbert gently. I'll walk. Uh, I'll walk up to the. I'll walk up to the edge, and he doesn't want me conscious. That's the problem. Tender kiss on the. No, floor. I don't. Uh, so how far is Egbert? He is twenty foot from you, five foot from the edge. Cool. So I'd like to move all the way to Egbert, uh, scoop him up, very gently, mm-hmm. so as to not wake him up, <laughs> and then just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I'll move back as far as I can, I suppose, which would probably put me like ten or. You can move another. You can move five foot back. Oh, you know what? I can use my bonus action to, to dash a bit further okay. into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're like fifteen feet yeah. from the edge. How... Sorry, that was loads of talking for. Yeah, I'm just going to tip Egbert <laughs> off. How far, how far do I fall before I hit the first thing? So I know I know where you were going with this, um, and I love it, but I think you're dead. No. Oh. <laughs> I know, you you were going to misty step back up. Yeah, I was going to misty step back up. As soon as I hit the first bit of rock and wake up and I'm falling, I was going to like teleport myself back up there. Unfortunately, is this is this less of a mountain and more of a cylinder? Is that what we're talking about? (laughs) It's a a floating (laughs) platform. Oh right, I thought we were on the top of a mountain. No, we are on the top of a mountain. Oh okay, fine. Um, Final destination. No items. Yes. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to roll eight d six because you've fallen eighty feet. Eighty. Right. Okay. Twenty four. Okay. So twenty-four oh no. damage. Oh, you're, no, you're dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah dead. sorry. For a second there, I thought that was under what you had remaining. No, no. Yeah, no. It, it is a, a real like <laughs> <laughs> just like a peacefully slumbering pilot oh. who then just oh. crum, <laughs> and that's just the first. <laughs> and it's a proper. You explode when you get to the bottom. Oh. Okay, great. Like, but that's like a kind oh. of ten seconds. <laughs> well, like, dream about whatever he likes best. From, from our point of view, though, like there's probably sort of cloud cover. <laughs> so we, we just saw we just saw Egbert drop gracefully <laughs> through yeah, yeah, some cloud. Yeah, just kind of. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. as I walk away doing this, there's sort of ugly right. clattering, <laughs> crunching sound, <laughs> followed by a distant. <laughs> oh yeah, all the. Mm. Prudence. <laughs> um, okay, I can't see Corazon. No. I can only see Dob. Yep. Hey, Prudence. Hey, Dob. We had some good times, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him. Ups and downs. <laughs> All right, I uh, throw an Eldritch Blast under each leg. Like, oh, oh wow. hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm meant to be not, <laughs> I'm not meant to be biased, but that was cool. Uh, roll them. All right. Sweeping the leg. Uh, that is 21 and Ouch. 14. Both hit, right? Armour class 14, yeah. Yeah, both hit. 
<laughs> ah, my leg. Roll that down. <laughs> that is, oh, uh, six and 12. No, wait, sorry, 11. Yeah. Ah. 17 total. Yes. Cool. How many hit points do you have left? This is my business. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone close your eyes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't really do a good job of whispering that. <laughs> no. Doesn't matter. Uh, any, any bonus stuff? I would like to just like land in an action pose for the clairvoyant orb. Just kind of, just an action crouch, looking cool. dynamic. Good. All right. Perfect. Uh, Corazon, it's the top of your guy. All right. I think it's about time someone damaged Prudence in any way. Can't be done. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, sure. Okay, am I close enough to reach Prudence to attack? Uh, yes. With normal movement? Fine. Yes, you are. I'm gonna run up and... I'm Prudence. in an action pose, Cool. that helps. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna strike a dueling pose and fence in. Oh, man. Like, yeah, like, you do like a, a big landing oh. and then yeah, a pirate yeah. just pops out of nowhere and... <laughs> <somersaults> <laughs> in forward. theory, let's see. In theory. Ah, balls. That's a seven. Unfortunately, can't be done. Can't be done. <laughs> can't, be done. can't be done. You kind of come out. Like, it looks like you're knighting Prudence. Mm. Go. The audience at home boos because they think you're trying to get in on their on, on Prudence's cool move. Uh oh, I say and dash back into my <laughs> network of caves. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wisdom perception checks, please, Dob and Prudence. Oh yeah. Sixteen. Where's Corazon? Oh, uh, twelve. Uh, I don't know. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So Dob can see me. Prudence can. Yeah. Dob. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. And so you can see both of the both of them. You are also still quite near to the edge of a cliff. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'll begin my turn with a casual saunter uh, into the middle of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Then I would like to cast sleep. Oh it works boy. Before. Oh wow. <laughs> Coming with a dog special. <laughs> Prudence is looking pretty robust, having not been damaged. Not even all. a little bit sleepy. So, uh, yeah, so this be... I don't have to go to bed until 8 <laughs> I'm going to send this third level, okay. which I don't mind saying is my final third level spell slot. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that'll be 5d8, but it's actually 5, 6, 7d8. Mm -hmm. And I will cast it on Corazon. <gasps> Twist! The betrayal. How many hit points do you have left, Corazon? We knew it was coming. I don't think this uh, is going to work. I don't think this is any of their business. Yeah, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Look, look. Don't look, Dob. Don't look, Dob. I'm not looking. That's 38. Wish I could help you, Dob. Wish I could help you. Damn. Whoa. Corazon kind of got... <laughs> Oh, this is taking a while, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy. Mm. And I'll so, use my bonus action to... Apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I will just do a big like... That was weird, Corazon. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that about? Prudence. <laughs> uh, that was so weird. It seems that uh, the alliance that has carried these two... Mm -hmm. So thus far, far through the battle is uh, is under it's, some strain. It's under review. <laughs> <laughs> what will you do to capitalise on this? Well, I can't see Corazon. Oh, you can't see Corazon. I can't see Corazon. Sure, can no, you so, see? Yeah, can you see? Dobbs is kind of going. But can Prudence see where I was pointing? Oh. I'm not saying Prudence would be able to divine where Corazon is. I'm just saying a general. Direction. Sure. Yes. And Prudence is aware that Corazon exists. I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's aware of the general area I'm in, I'm in yeah. the battle platform. So. Yeah, sure. How about stop betraying me? <laughs> I simply can't. <laughs> <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Join I us next vague, time on. I have a vague sense of where Corazon you. is, but I've, already, I've used yeah. Hunger of Hadar and. Well, actually, it's Hunger of Hadar lasts for a minute. Oh, it does. So it's still, still going on. Still, still, but I feel like we're all sort of like yeah. around there. <laughs> no one's like <laughs> willingly entering into no. the space I between run the into the Hunger of Hadar. It's just, just quietly away. hanging out, this like oh, void yeah. in the centre of the platform. Oh, I left my phone charger in the Hunger of Hadar. <laughs> oh, well, a minute later, no. you'll be all right. That's all right, fine. Um, so I, I don't have another really useful AOE that's going to like bring Corazon to the surface. So I. Eldritch Blast Dob. Yeah. Mm. Roll it. 
Unbelievable. This time, I turn around, I turn my back to Dob, and then I <laughs> duck Whoa. down and, and cast Through it between both legs. Whoa. Yeah. Upside yeah. down. Yeah. I feel like something that should happen at disadvantage. Oh that's, my a, gosh. that's a crit, everybody. Hey. <laughs> that's an ampersand so on You're going to double the dice, dice. damage on right. that one. one of them. Okay, so that's the first. Gnarly. Ray. That's how I went. And the second ray is uh, 22. Okay, so Hit. two, it's, two hits. It's two hits. Uh, so basically, roll 3d10 and then add your charisma modifier twice. Okay. So, oh, sorry, let me do this. Do this right, shall we, Job? Oof. Yes, please. Right. Yeah. That is Good little an eight thanks. plus a seven is fifteen plus a one is sixteen plus ten for two charisma modifiers, so twenty-six. Okay. Ow. What do I win? Uh, well, which bit of me do you want to fire, blast off? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for one arm and one leg. Your choices. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Which legs and arms do you like so, least? Uh, well, no, oh, you so, did. Uh, no, no, I'm not dead. Oh. But some of my, um, I, I don't know. I imagine some, some of my, of my, some of my skin is yes. gone. Yeah, yeah. No limbs, right. I'd imagine. Like a good amount of your the flesh covering your your supple supple ribs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see like ribs. Yeah. Wow. Ow. Okay. Yeah. You can see my four orc hearts beating away in there. Wow. Four hearts. Yeah. Look They're beautiful. <laughs> Doctor Two. <laughs> And then for my bonus action, I sort of like stumble blindly around in Corazon's general area. <laughs> I love it. Lovely stuff. Patting the air. Okay, Corazon, you're up. Mm. Turn to the others and I say, folks, we're playing their damn game. They want us to kill each other. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you Sorry. revealing yourself to prudence? I, I can just hear your voice mm, on the wind. You just hear my voice All right, on the wind. Fine. Okay. On the wind whispering. Yeah. Go on. How about this instead? Okay. We link hands and we walk off the mountain. Okay. All That's right. beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Yeah? Yeah. I love that. We'll teach, what a way to go. We'll teach we'll teach these fat cats that this isn't entertainment. This is these are we're friends. Our friends are dying, we're not gonna do it anymore. If they wanna see us die, we'll do it together. That's right. Oh. Okay. That's right. You're the real Katniss, I say. Yeah. I'm gonna briefly take us out of combat initiative here. Um, with Corazon in the middle, you hold up your hand, hold up your hand, and you start walking towards the edge. Uh, and as you reach the end, tell me what you're going to do, all of you at the same time. Three, two, one. Not, Not Corazon unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going. I'm going to hold their hand. I'm going to walk off the edge, <laughs> holding yeah. both of them. Oh, you're, drag, drag yeah, them you're legit. Yeah. I'm resisting. What I want to do is get like right up to the edge and then try and knock Corazon unconscious. <laughs> and and I'll say this: I want to knock. I want to body into Corazon, knocking him unconscious, and take us all over the edge anyway. Well, I believe it's my turn, and none of you can do anything. Yes, so yeah, this is turn. true. I was just pausing okay. the commentary because I wanted but to know. But you wanted what you to know what we wanted to do. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. What I and now to. I know. I would like to walk off the edge, <laughs> holding these two's hands. Okay. In a noble act of self-sacrifice. Corazon, you're so strength sweet athletics and good. check to keep your grip on them. Uh, against their either strength or or acrobatics. Me and Egbert in, in uh, the, whatever the other side is in Geth. Yeah. Going, Where was that energy when we it's were there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I shouldn't even bother then. Try not. Uh, you might also get a natural twenty. Yeah. That's true. You said it's strength or beats it, beats it. or dex acrobatics, but mm. yeah, just let's call it. Let's roll me a d twenty. Try and get a d twenty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's try and get a twenty. Now, nah. fifteen. I got a seventeen. Okay. Whoop. You are oh. dragged off the edge of a cliff by no, Corazon. No, I wanted Marina. to betray you. Okay, um, I open my hands and I cast Feather Fall oh. on myself. <laughs> As a bo- is that a bonus action or wasn't that your turn? My, my turn was movement, right? So, effectively, your action is to grapple both of these over the side. Yeah. You let go, and then Feather Fall is your reaction. It's a reaction. reaction. <laughs> yeah. On to fall just in. yourself. On just myself, yeah. It's. And I mean this sincerely, possibly the most underhand thing I've ever seen. <laughs> in but that's legit. Um, Prudence and Dob. Uh huh. What have you got? What do? What do? <laughs> <laughs> so we're falling faster than Corazon. Considerably. Wait, so does that mean that me and Prudence are going to splat and explode, and then Corazon will also splat and explode, but, but close on your lines? Yeah. Is that Jesus. genuinely the plan? That's the way he chooses. I mean, he could spend that minute in Featherpool trying to like grab hold of something and 
slow his slow his descent. Building a parachute. Yeah, hundred percent. I think we agreed that this, okay. this mountain is shaped like a giant cylinder. Right? Um, so is that is that what we're doing? We're all splatting. It's just Coruscant splatting last. I, That's how this ends. Unless, well, unless you've got have you got something? Is it your turn? I'm happy for it, I'm happy for that to be the plan. If that's the thirty, is anyone got a 30, 50 foot of hemp and rope? <laughs> <laughs> is this the plan? I think. I mean, literally, unless you're you've got anything to tell me that will save your lives. <laughs> so the last thing Corazon sees as he fatally impacts the ground is like the sort of bloody smears of <laughs> me Egbert. and Egbert yeah. just sort of arrayed yeah. nearby. <laughs> yeah. Um, or is it? Because what's this? Interesting. <gasps> oh my god! An what orcish trait that's never been mentioned in Oxfordshire. Relentless endurance. When you are reduced to zero hit points but not killed, you can drop to one hit point <laughs> instead once per long rest. Huh. A, a hark or shit, hark orcish thing that has never come up. <laughs> it's it's not not some hardcore shit that has never come up. <laughs> it's been there all along though. Wow. It's so. It is. It's honestly so. Check it pitch out. perfect. It's there. there. Yep. Yeah. So what I hope is that. Corazon falling is, is like embracing death, thinking at least I won. Yeah. But then sees a one hit point dob. Maybe it's just a twitching eyeball. <laughs> just sort of like looking okay, at okay, being like, okay. alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see this as I sail down from the top of the mountain. Yeah. I see Dob holding up his thumb. <laughs> And I would like like Roger Moore in Moonraker to hold an angle pistol <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> to no. in a huge Macho Man Randy Savage elbow drop. I try and I try and wiggle. <laughs> you try, but you can see sort of a point of light, which is like almost like atmospheric re-entry. It's heat waves coming off of Coruscant's elbow as he drives oh. his elbow into and through your sternum, oh. which becomes his sternum because oh. the two of you oh, just smash oh. together oh. in a big pile of meat, which means the Oxventure Battle Royale is for better or worse concluded Yay. and by, I think, a, much worse, I think, a scant millis by a scant millisecond, Corazon won. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would call it a tie. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, I mean... Let's call it a draw. Let's, yeah, okay. Let's cool, see yeah. what they... Two-way draw. <laughs> if the sponsor's plan was to get a lot of meat together, then <laughs> it's worked out perfectly, hasn't it? Here's, here's, I tell you what, next year, the sponsors are going to put a camera at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they missed a lot of action. Yeah, it's the yeah, Dunbridge Meat Battle they, Royale coming left, to you from Splash Mountain. <laughs> they left the uh, arena, so they were all disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's ring out. Yeah, no one's corpse one. We probably yeah, no. just ring out as soon as we, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good point. Uh, yeah. Well, a, a brave effort from all of you. Uh, again, I'm so commiserations, Marilyn, for getting the, the blunt end of the mace. Um, I'm <laughs> sure there will be some strong opinions about that in the comments. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, uh, I'd like to play as a druid one day. <laughs> well, thank, thank you so much for, for playing. Well, I was going to have Same again next year. <laughs> oh, Christ, no. <laughs> so, yeah, let's not make this an annual yeah, thing. Absolutely never do this again. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, uh, do subscribe to the channel for more <laughs> of this kind of thing. Uh, check out Johnny at uh, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini, and we will see you next time for more Adventure. Bye. 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 All right, let's get into it. Good luck, have fun, everyone. Party. Total party. Total party. You died. <laughs> <laughs> you total party. Total party. Yeah. Trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> you want to lose your memory? Why? I've seen some bad things. <laughs> Liliana is our mortal enemy. If She's tried to kill us a hundred times. I need your help. <laughs>